Welcome back to Mai Tai Gaming and Ultimate General American Revolution. Uh, we have another patch, uh, 0.1.28, uh, where they're working on difficulty balance, prisoner of war mechanics, and events. So hopefully we don't just kill them all. Uh, the AI will upgrade regions and construct buildings, added sabotage decrement research, uh, into the intelligence department, fi different fixes in global map AI. Some memory leaks, added logs for those with issues starting the game in the launcher, and many minor things, and added new bugs. We always love adding new bugs to the game. Okay, so where we left off at the end of our last episode, we had just secured our supply lines. Our supply network through New York, uh, Western Mass, and Connecticut. Uh, next goal is going to be Ticonderoga, and then we make our march on towards Boston. At least I'd like to get Rhode Island back in the uh, in the fold, and Leicester would be very nice. We have some provisions over there, which would also be really good for us to get. Uh, Fort Rice is out of provisions. I have been looking at our market. We do have quite a few brown besses, uh, 78 and 69s. We only have 320 civilian muskets, though. So first thing I'm going to do is go into Albany, where we have kind of our best troops at the moment. Now, all of these guys are sitting at just 30 or so. So, and they're going to go up to 120. I'm going to switch three of these to the brown besses and hit apply. Uh, hopefully that leaves us enough weapons. And that brings civilian up to 425. I think we're missing more than 425 troops through all the other cities. So we may have to end up buying more civilian muskets at some point. Now, it's also going through. We have... Eight three-pounders, so I don't think we've taken any damage to our artillery units. If that remains in a couple days, I may see if I can fit another uh, artillery unit. Uh, as far as goods go, I was taking a look. We have 11 ammunition and storage, so I'm thinking let's go ahead and beef that up to, let's say, 30. Uh, we have two wagons with five on the market. We have the ability to produce wagons now, so I'm not worried. I did notice we have two furs in storage. And I don't know what else we would use these for. So I'm going to sell them and make back a thousand. The textiles I know go towards ships. Cig cigars. I'm going to sell these two. Uh, rum, I'm going to hold on to because you never run want to run into an army and... Have them ask why the rum's gone. I was looking at resources here. So we have 100 horse. Uh, four copper. I mean, we, we seem pretty all right here. Maybe if salt paper Peter gets lower, uh, then we will buy some more. There's no iron on the market. The construction management, so no resources. Is that no resources to build? Okay, so we got the two farms, one... So we have four, well, it looks like four farms. Or is it four farms being built? No, that's the colony itself. Albany, New York has two. Bennington has two. Oh, for these. Well, that's already built. Agriculture. Yeah, it's July. I'm going to go ahead and just hope that we're able to... Oh, we don't have the 25 instruction materials. Okay, that's why it's saying no resources. Good to know. Now, while we uh, build up our forces, I'm going to send our generals out to do a little scouting. And I haven't seen Stevens in this area yet. I do see some British uh, just north of Fort Rice. This unit's reconstituted. I'm not sure about Lester either. So I want to check some things out. Actually, yeah, let's march this way. I'm going to check some things out, see where the British are. Alright, 1,200. Okay, they may be 
on the march to Saratoga with only 600 troops, which would be a mistake. Bring these guys out and then up to Saratoga. Oh, they were just going to... Well, we can have them sit in Fort Saratoga anyway. There's plenty of capacity there. We don't need to guard Albany. Let's check out maybe Hubberton. Okay, so Leicester has 1,000. Fort Stevens, 700. We're good there. Uh, founding of a revolutionary newspaper. Uh, Kingston, 5% loyalty. So we're up to 75% loyalty there. Yeah, they're just marching around with smaller units. Hubberton doesn't have anybody in it. Has Fort Rice got any provisions yet? No. Let's get into Saratoga. Reynolds, you too. Send Arnold to maybe do a check over here. Okay, we got a donation from the Free Artisans of New York. 2200 That's always going to be helpful. Okay, we've run into a problem with reinforcing here. Doesn't look like we have enough... Oh, we're out of everything. Okay, Brown Bess is... Uh, how, how close did we get? Brown Bess is, it looks like, another 12 of the 69 variety, and we're good. So, let's go ahead. Let's just buy 30 to be safe. 78s, there's none on the market. Now, civilian muskets, this is where we're going to run into issues. I'm going to buy... Let's start with 500. This is going to eat up... Oh, trade is impossible due to the war with Britain. Really? Okay, good to know. Hopefully that, because uh, I'm sure we're going to run into that gun situation. I'm just making sure that yeah, artillery is, seems to be fine. It's just going to be the civilian guns. Secret diplomatic negotiations. Colonial representatives engage in secret diplomatic negotiations with sympathetic European powers, seeking potential alliances and support for their cause. Seems to me that France, as a long-time enemy of Britain, should support us. Or I think that Spain will be a really good ally in our fight. I'm going to stick with historical here. Let's get France on our side as quickly as possible. See what that actually did here. Oh, we're down to seven. So we're becoming quite good friends with the French. Okay, we have a situation here. McTaggart here with 166 men are marching into our territory. Requirement. We are going to send a message to the Creeks. We request from them four of copper. You know, we're not facing the Creeks yet. I don't know really what we're using copper for, but let's get the four copper. Yeah, I just wanna, can we charge in guys? We may be able to destroy this unit. Surrender. That's absolutely wonderful news. Go back up here to keep a lookout on everything. Now, the new weapons. Okay, that's the brown basses, so we're good there. Running out of civilian muskets again. I'm going to buy another 600 this time. And I'm buying the civilian muskets because at this stage in the war... Tactics that seem to work are just charging in and overwhelming support. Uh, the support of numbers. I'm looking for to make sure that we have some provisions. Which Fort Rice finally got some provisions. But we're almost at full strength again. We're getting very close. So close that I don't know if the map opens up further. I'm going to bring Greenleaf uh, to Fort Saratoga with the intention of taking Ticonderoga. Uh, I think Hatfield. I'm going to take these two, uh, take these two units, march them toward, towards Saratoga. Bennington, you have two units, but don't have artillery. Abandoned property. Part of the Loyalists went north, leaving their homes. We can confiscate one of these houses and raise money for the army at auction. Most citizens would support such a decision, but some fear it would set a dangerous precedent for them. 
We need money or we lose three uh, loyalty in Connecticut, which is presently 96%, or you can bump it to 97%. I'm going to take the money. Bennington, yeah, we'd like to get these guys to full strength and march them over. Fort Rice, let's get you out of the garrison. I'll bring you down to Hatfield. And we'll have about a thousand in each of these three garrisons. I don't think the British uh, seem to have the support to take that force on, or at least not what they're showing. Okay, a quick check of our supply lines. We are building up some provisions in Saratoga. Inclusive of diverse voices in leadership. Revolutionary leadership has actively included representatives from different social, economic, and ethnic backgrounds. It has fostered greater loyalty by showing that the movement was truly representative of the entire population. Except for one very large group in the South, but we'll ignore that for now. So Kensington 5, Hatfield 8. Let's actually take a look at that. Hatfield's at 100% now. Kensington's at 76%. I'd like to have a uh, something in Fort Montgomery. It just feels wrong leaving that fort empty. Okay, let's do another quick ride out and check Fort, fort Tide kind of Roga. Grinliff in the garrison. 1,200. So I'm going to assault 1,300 British with roughly 3,000 Americans. Let's have these guys enter the fort too real quick. Just want to make sure we can take a British sabotage campaign. As tensions between Britain and American colonies escalate in 1775, British intelligence agencies receive orders to initiate a covert sabotage campaign aimed at destabilizing the American revolutionary efforts. This campaign is designed to create chaos, undermine morale, and disrupt supply lines, weakening the resolve of the colonial rebels. So one unit of ammunition and one unit of provision destroyed in Hatfield. Oh, Castile, enter. That's fine. Worst things have happened. Bennington, what are we missing? Not enough muskets again? Don't really have anything I can switch over to. And at 5,600, I'm not sure I want to spend the money at this point. How are we doing on production? Maybe let's take one off the artillery. Oh, were we not? Oh. Okay. I guess I was overusing. I'm not sure. But yeah, let's produce muskets and ammunition. We're able to produce 10 civilian muskets per day. You know what? We have ammunition at this point. Let's let's do the muskets 20 per day. Check the supply lines here. We've got 23, 14, 11 down here. I mean, we don't have much ammunition. But if we take Fort Ticonderoga and maybe, maybe even Frederick. Oh, Lester's getting juicier and juicier. 46 provisions and 29 uh, ammunition. And Boston's at 70. So the British are not starving. That's for sure. July 21st. We're exiting. There's no way to choose. Yeah, form up. And I guess form up. Wish there was a way you could uh, either shift or control click the units to get them to combine. Yeah, let's go ahead and get you guys joined up. So we have 3,000 troops. We are going after Fort Ticonderoga. And I'm gonna leave Fort Saratoga empty for the moment. Okay, before I could get into the battle, we received an offer to barter. Creeks offer five of copper for 16 horses. I don't know what I'm using copper for. I don't even have Dragoons yet. I'm not gonna take that. Is there something that lets me know what my eight copper is worth? Required in land and naval gun production. Thank you. So let's go over here to production. Ah, 0.7 copper, copper and coal for our artillery pieces. We are not presently producing any. So I'm going to let that go for a second. We do have a battle here uh, for Fort Ticonderoga. This is a level three fort. So we have 
We've seen a level 1 and a level 2 last episode. Let's see what a level 3 looks like. Level 3 is definitely built up a lot more. Let's even zoom out a little bit here. Not quite what I would imagine. I, w I mean, at this point, I would assume they have star forts. But we have a very nice large army over here. So we're going to go ahead, start combining our units. Because I see no reason to mess with my strategies that uh, have gotten us this far. 179 won't let me... Uh, Combine. What are you units then? Militia. At 179? What are these units then? Militia. I wonder what the difference is. Oh, here come... Here come the British. So... Not sure why they're running this way now. Let me get... Yeah, our commander... Right where that... Artillery shell landed. Let me get these guys over here. I'm not sure what this unit's doing at all. Uh, the, okay, they're coming out of the fort in all directions. Militia, 111. There's no way. Yeah, they're all that bad. Okay, so we, we got them ru running off. Let's see here. Get these guys over here. Okay, seriously, they need to stop just flailing about. That's getting ridiculous. Can we... Yeah, maybe get them to move. Get them over here. Get these guys over here. And let's go for it. Um, you guys took... I don't know which... Got routes, got routes. And they routed us in the center. We always seem to get about two out of three. Over here. All right. They got the better of us a little bit. But I've got these two units right here. Three units, excuse me. They can back that up really quickly. Let's get... Oh! Alright. I need to reverse you guys. And pretty much we're down to artillery, it looks like. We can open fire on them. Now let's charge in. We got one of their units out of there. Keep marching. I'm going to send you guys. Let's get in the professionals. Come on. Nope, I want you firing at that artillery. Alright. Uh, charge. Looks like we knocked two out. Yeah, this is definitely turning heavily in our favor at this point. Somebody's shattered. Let's get you guys moving back over here. Get you over here. Twenty-five. You can't shatter that. There we go. All right. Yeah. Let's get both of these units marching. Okay. We're in melee with 
their artillery. Conditions bad, morale's good. Route there. All right, we got the victory. I don't know if I can get anything else out of this. But we have won Fort Ticonderoga. It right, looks like we have to shatter there. I might... Might get the shatter on these guys. Or can I get these guys? Yeah, let's see if I can actually... Because they're kind of trapped. Let's see if I can actually get everybody moving after this artillery. Speed things along. Got the shatter. Come on, guys. Nope, nope. Okay, we brought them back. Got the route. And surrender. Okay, so I'll end it there. Closer casualties than I would have liked. Honestly, we probably stood and fought too long. So we're going to march Livingston, our commander, Livingston, up there. Yep, let's get in there. Charge in, finish this up. 1,500 at Fort Frederick. Okay, I'd really like to get these guys. All right, Baker, start taking the fort. Reynolds, come back. Reynolds. Now, if they're going to move just coal... And leave only a thousand men at Fort Frederick. But Ticonderoga, zero ammunition, zero provision. Of course. So we took Fort Ticonderoga. We got 11. Uh, is that the 11? Four pounders. I thought it was supposed to be 12 pounders. Okay, fine. And the 20 prestige. So let's see here. As far and they didn't drop any weapons either. We do have 149 brown besses, so I could probably move one more unit over and maybe free up the civilian muskets. Definitely have, we've got one, two, three, five artillery units we can now. Uh, high tension reduces trade with the creeks. How high is the tension with the creeks? 63. Okay, so we need to watch that. I'm gonna go ahead and get everybody into Fort Ticonderoga. Now, 1,700 troops. March. Let me get the commander over here. See what the British situation is once again. Because if I can steal Hubberton, it's going to be in our supply, supply network. Oh, 255 and 100. What? It just showed zero, didn't it? Okay, something happened. I'm not sure what. We still didn't get our <laughs> our 12 pounders. But actually, I can start to maybe oh, that's a four pounder already. That's a four pounder. I was gonna say, let me get see if these guys. Three pounder. Yeah, we can switch those out. And switch that out. At field, you don't have any Hartford. Maybe that's something else I do is start taking like this one at Hartford. Probably be smarter. Take the, uh, Hosea Greenleaf. Let me see if this works. If we can, because I can't put anything there. What if we will receive civilian muskets, four officers, and 277 recruits? Okay, so we do lose recruits, but. Let me actually do this at Saratoga. Militia Regiment with Josiah Greenleaf. Now, I was looking... So, Militia's 1112. Okay, so... Minutemen are much better at firing. So, really... Let me do this. Get artillery with the four pounders. And then do the two Militia units... 
So we'll combine the two militia units for melee. We'll skirmish with the Minutemen. And we've got the field artillery. I like this. Kind of want to move, put all of my units into that style. What are we going to miss here? We've got 450. We hit the muskets. We're just losing 60 recruits. 60 recruits we recover fairly quickly. So yeah, I'm going to do the 100 Minutemen. Don't know if we can do brown besses for them too. Civilian muskets will have to do for some of these guys. We've got all the three pounders. So I guess this is adding about 100 men per... Or 50 guys. Because we're taking 50 away. So strength-wise, I'm going to do that for right now. Let's uh, let's take a look at the map. Uh, what do we got here? Loyalists ask for help. Where's this going to hurt us? Loyalty in the, in the New York. Decreased by six. I should get... Yeah, let's get the loyalty up. Well, I kind of need the money. Let's get the money this time. I don't want... Can't keep doing that. Uh, reconciliation efforts within British ranks. A group of British officers sympathetic to the colonial cause secretly communicate with an American representative, exploring possibilities for reconciliation and an end to hostilities. So this gives us a plus nine to something. Uh, Lester's up to 2,000. That could march on us. Hubberton. I'm tempted to take on Fort Frederick and just start pushing them. Or do I leave like 1,200 guys at Fort Ticonderoga basically and take these two units and leave these three? It's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Because I can march anything from Fort Rice. These guys still don't have enough provisions. All right, let's... Let me exit. Let me get Morton straight up to Hubberton. Let's take it and see what happens from there. Yeah, Morton has no food and no ammunition, so... Anything that gets him to... Hubbard and should have something. Okay, we have 3,000 men in Leicester now. 3,200. They're planning something. Yep, they're marching. Let's get you guys out of the fort. Let's get you guys out. Yep, I need you to march to Hatfield. You guys march to Hatfield. Fort Rice. You guys are going to do as you're going to march to Hatfield. Arnold, get to Hatfield. Can't afford to move this regiment yet. So that's about 3,000 troops. If I lose Hatfield, then we fall back and regroup and go after it again. Probably take one more out of Ticonderoga. Arnold, where'd they go? Why don't I have eyes? Are they going for Hartford? I wonder if the AI has no fog of war and saw me moving all the troops to Hatfield and fell back. Okay, I'm going to put Morton into position at Hubberton. They have provisions and one ammunition, but 20 provisions. So that should definitely help with the situation. And they can send them to Fort Rice. Okay, at this point, I'm going to switch up Commanders, I'm going to send Arnold up to Ticonderoga. Actually, I'm going to send him this way. I'm going to start constituting at Hatfield. And we're going to begin next our Rhode Island, Western Massachusetts campaign towards Boston. And I know there was a lot less fighting in this battle, but you got to see the taking of Fort Ticonderoga. Reconstituting some regiments. Probably pull this one out of Fort Saratoga as soon as it's done getting beefed up. But I'm going to leave the episode here. We did what we said we were going to do. We continue to advance. We now have our supply lines all the way up here. Fort Frederick's completely cut off. Next up, Leicester, Providence, and Newport. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. We'll see you next time.